Hello, my name is Donna from the Pioneer Library System. How well do you know your favorite celebrity chefs? Take our trivia quiz to find out. During World War II, what did Julia Child help develop to aid the war effort? A. Field rations for the troops. B. Shark repellent. Or C. Fuel alternative made from food. To aid in the war effort, Child worked as a spy for the Strategic War Service and later became a top secret researcher tasked with developing shark repellent to keep curious sharks away from underwater explosives. What she developed is still in use today. When Bobby Flay was eight, what toy did he want for Christmas? A. Mr. Potato Head B. Susie Homemaker Miniature Kitchen or C, Easy Bake Oven. Flay received an Easy Bake Oven for Christmas that year. His dad was not exactly thrilled and gifted him a G.I. Joe too. As a result of his experience, he joined a group of other chefs that petitioned Hasbro to make Easy Bake Oven in gender neutral colors. What year was Betty Crocker born? A. 1948 B. 1963 C. 1921 This was a trick question. Betty Crocker was never actually a real person. It was an advertising campaign. She was introduced to consumers in 1921 as a way of creating a personalized response to consumer product questions. The name Betty was selected because it was considered an all-American cheery name. In 2003, what company did Rick Bayless appear in commercials for? A. Burger King B. Kentucky Fried Chicken or C. Chili's Oklahoma native Bayless appeared in a 2003 Burger King commercial promoting their new chicken sandwich. He took flack for doing the commercial, but the, said the sandwich had the season's hottest new flavors. He donated his $300,000 fee to charity. What two culinary themed items is Ina Garten passionate about collecting? A cookbooks and cake stands, B, teapots and antique spoons, or C, martini glasses and shakers. Garten is passionate about collecting cookbooks and cake stands. She actually has a whole room in her house devoted to the collection. It is said to be lined with shelves, with cookbooks on the bottom shelves and cake stands on the top. What horrible disease did Mary Berry contract at the age of 13? A. Smallpox B. Tuberculosis or C. Polio At the age of 13, Barry was admitted to the hospital for three months after contracting polio. It left her with a twisted spine and thinner left arm. She said the experience toughened her up and taught her how to make the most out of every opportunity. What relation was Molly Hollis to Ruth Reichel? A, her culinary mentor. B, her fictional identity or C, her New York Times food editor. Molly Hollis was an identity that Reichel created when she was the food critic for the New York Times in 1993. She had 12 different disguises that included wigs and secondhand clothes. She created these personas so she would be unrecognizable in restaurants and be able to write an unbiased review of her visit to the establishments. Besides cookbooks and travel, 
What other genres had Anthony Bourdain written before his death in 2018? A. Romance and historical fiction. B. Mystery and graphic novel. Or C. Young adult and children's fiction. Besides cooking and travel, Bourdain wrote both mysteries and a graphic novel before his death in 2018. When Giada De Laurentiis appeared on Chefography, the Food Network received mail accusing the network of hiring a blank instead of a real chef. A. Model B. Fitness expert or C. Fashion designer On Chefography, a Food Network biography program, De Laurentiis said she never wanted to be in show business and that she felt uncomfortable in front of the camera. When the episode aired, the Food Network received mail accusing the network of hiring a model or actress pretending to cook instead of hiring a real chef. What non-cooking reality TV show did Rocco Despero appear on? A. The Masked Singer B. Celebrities at Home or C. Dancing with the Stars Despero appeared in Season 7 of Dancing with the Stars. He was eliminated in the fourth round. His highest scoring dance was the Mambo. In 1940, James Beard penned his first cookbook on what topic? A. Wartime cooking B. Pacific Northwest ingredients or C. Cocktail food Beard was a forward thinker in the culinary field. In 1940, he penned what was then the first major cookbooks devoted exclusively to cocktail food. In 1942, he followed it up with Cook It Outdoors, the first serious work on outdoor cooking. How did you do? There is more fun to be had. Make sure to check out all the digital resources the Pioneer Library has available for you.